In this video, we're going to show you how to install the passenger side tail light on your Nissan Versa located on the back of your vehicle. Now, once you have the cargo area of the vehicle open up, you're going to go ahead and access these two panels right here. These pop off. You can use a small pocket screwdriver, put it inside a little notch right here on the top, gently pry out, and boop, pops right out. You're going to do the same thing up top here. There's a little notch right here on the bottom. Just put it in, gently pry out. Falls out like that. On the bottom side here, you can actually reach in and feel the stud of the tail light assembly. And there's a 10 millimeter nut on there. So we're gonna go ahead and use a deep socket with our extension. Put that on in there. And go ahead and spin that off. And once you break that loose, you can go ahead and spin that by hand. Key bit of information. You want to put your finger in there and hold the nut into the socket while you pull this out. And there you have it. Now, if this falls out of the socket and it goes down inside this panel, well, that opens up a can of worms for you. So you wanna prevent that. On the upper portion right here, there is a little wire harness retainer that is actually pressed on to the upper stud here. So we're gonna use our trim tool right here. I'm gonna go up and simply slide that off like so and boom there you have it right there that's the one that we want to get to in this case here i'm going to use my gear wrench right here pop that up inside and it's because of the angle that we can't really use that socket and extension in there but it's not that big of a deal there's plenty of room to get some fingers in there and operate that so go ahead spin that nut off the rest of the way don't work too fast. You don't want to drop that nut down inside this panel. Work that off. And there is that other nut. Now we're going to go ahead and pull out a tail out assembly. You can see there's a bunch of debris here. It's going to be best if you can clean this up. You can use a vacuum or if you have an air hose, go ahead and blow that out. In our case here, we can just wipe that out like so. I'm going to go, go ahead and show you what we're pulling out on the vehicle. Now right here are the two studs we remove the nuts from. On the outer edge here, that's on the upper portion here, right where this plastic panel is, there's a stud right here that goes into a body grommet. And then on the outer edge here, on this back corner, there's a little notch right here that will have a component that locks into that. So there's those four points of contact, uh, as well as down below here, there's a little plastic retainer button. So. We need to get to those points, separating this here and then the stud here, pulling this unit out of the body. Now it can prove to be a little bit challenging, but you just keep working at it and it should pop out for you. There we go. Now on the back side of the taillight assembly here, there's going to be three light bulb sockets, one here, here, and here. What you're simply gonna do is grab the socket and twist it counterclockwise, and you'll feel it twist and then stop and just give it a little wiggle. And it's just stuck in there a little bit, but there it is right there. Go ahead and grab the middle one, same thing, counterclockwise. Work that out. And then the last one, twist that, pop that out. The wires will run through this little plastic retainer right here. Go ahead and remove the taillight assembly. Before you install the new taillight, you wanna go ahead and take a look at these bulbs. If you feel that you wanna replace them or a bulb needs to be replaced at this time, let's go ahead and do that. You're simply gonna go ahead and grab that socket by the base you're going to grab that bulb. You're going to push it in gently. You're going to feel a little bit of spring on there. It pushes in, twist counterclockwise, and then pull the bulb out. There's little buttons on either side here that actually go into the socket. And when you push it in and twist it, it locks it into place. So if you were to replace that bulb, always wear gloves or something. You don't want to touch the glass portion of the bulb with a bare hand. The oils on your skin can affect the turn of the lifespan of the bulb itself. So use gloves or hold it with a paper towel or something. 
good, and line up that bulb, push it in, push it in, and turn it clockwise. It's only gonna turn maybe a sixteenth or maybe a quarter of an inch, something like that, and it'll lock into place. Give it a little wiggle. It's gonna be the same for the other two bulbs. Now our new taillight comes with the new socket and the wiring harness that goes through into the body and it comes through on the back side right here. It's that white connector on that that we had popped off of that stud with the connector that plugs in. Now on the outside is a rubber grommet. You can simply grab the rubber, put your finger in there and pull this out. It's that easy. Now from the inside, you probably want to go ahead and work that harness so that it comes out like so. Now there's a little connector right here. There's a little brown tab. I'm going to press in on this tab. And separate this. I'm going to try and feed this through a little bit to the inside of the cargo area here. So we have this connector. I'm going to push in and pull this off. There we go. Pull that rubber grommet right through. And boop, just like that. Go ahead and set that aside. Now at this point here, before we throw the new tail light in, clean up around the perimeter. Get all that dirt and debris out of there. It's been sitting there for umpteen years. Now at this point here, you wanna pay attention to some key points. Right down here, is where one of the studs is going to go through. Up here is the other stud that goes through. Here is your grommet hole where the wire harness is going to go into. Up here is one of the other mounting points. It actually just pressure fits into this little plastic pin that goes in there. And then the fourth one is on the outer edge. The fourth one right here is the plastic tab here where your tail is going to slip over if this is broken, you definitely want to go ahead and replace it. Ours is in good condition, so let's go ahead and install that tail light. Now our tail light has the harness already installed. You can, if you want, remove the bulbs and then feed the harness through and reconnect. It's going to be easy enough for us to just go ahead, feed the harness through the body, push that connector through. I'm going to reach inside and start to work that in. Now the rubber grommet itself is easy. You're just gonna line that up, put in one of the edges and work that in. And it pretty much pops into place. Good, line up the taillight assembly. I'm gonna slide that back, or the, slide the front portion of the taillight onto that plastic post. All right, so just give it a little bump. Get that lined up, make sure that the taillight is seated all the way around the perimeter. Ours looks really good. Let's go ahead and install the nuts on the back side here to secure that taillight assembly. And we're going to go ahead and do the connector first. Now that the taillight is in, we want to go ahead and reconnect our connector here. Press it in, you're going to hear it and feel it lock into place. We're just going to tuck that inside for now. That way there we can go ahead and get that nut installed on that stud. So reach up and in there. Good, spin that on. Using our gear wrench, we wanna go ahead and gently snug that down. And once you feel that get a little snug, just give it a little bit more. Then we can go ahead and grab that harness here and there's a white retainer that actually presses onto that stud there. So go ahead and line that up. Now on the bottom one, what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to take that nut, put it inside that socket, line that up. I want to feed this in and get that put onto that taillight stud. So I'm going to guide it in there with my finger, making sure that that nut doesn't fall off. Here we go. Get it started. Thread that in as far as you can by hand. And then go ahead and pop your ratchet on there and just gently snug it down. Once you have those snug, we can now go ahead and install our trim panels here. We're gonna install the two tabs first into the panel and then press that into place. Now this is molded to a particular position here. So it might take a couple tries here to get that lined up. There we go. And that pretty much completes our job. You're all set. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.